Well, guys, I just can't help myself. It's like an addiction. So we'll learn more about these right after this. This might be film worthy, I guess. Yeah, we better. Yeah, he, I always wait till he takes a well, drink or something. But <laughs> take pictures so you know what it looks like when you come back. Yeah. Remember in a video when I said my transmission was given out? Well, I pushed it one trip too far. So I guess we're gonna unload some tractors and then go back and load up a pickup, which is scheduled to get a transmission next week. Which makes me feel good because now it made an honest man out of me because I felt kind of guilty when it started working good again, but I knew it would wait till we got right into it. To, you can beat it. We could go either way yeah, uh, out of here. Uh, we can get there, but probably easier to go the highway. Yeah. And then at the next stoplight, you'll turn left again at the next... Uh, Weapon? And we'll take the bypass, see. Oh, okay. Which, uh, yeah. I don't remember which way we took last time, but this way just opened up, so. Yeah, I think this is quicker. I may need a bypass after this day's over. I don't know. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> oh, well. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep, and when we when we had to clean a spot for me to ride in your truck, I knew we were just alike. Yeah. <laughs> yep, left here. Oh my. Yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Adventure. That's what it is. I better we better get a shot of him actually doing some work. Yeah, that that this is a rare rare footage there. That thing come off. <laughs> you slide it over that way. You gotta. You gotta. We're gonna. What do you mean? Oh. And do it this way. Okay, look out. Well, that works too. Your dog about chewed my arm off when you dropped that ramp. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bring my pup over here and let him. Let her run around with Buddy. Yeah, you might get some little buddies. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you mean Chevy or Lily? Lily. <coughs> you want to say that would be some? <laughs> yeah. That would be a face only a mama could love. A, a Chevy, a Chevy and buddy. Yeah. A bulldog and French bulldog. Gotta get that right. You better make sure. We might want to get out of the way. You get out of the way and make sure the dog's not. Buddy. Where are you at, pal? He's over on the other side. Okay. He's, That's well, he's over here now. Yeah. Okay, I see him. He's over here. Okay. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Whoa! Yeah, they have a little bit of weight to them. Huh? Yep. Get your sea legs back. After yeah, that. after that. My knees buckling. Let me see. Let me get a hold of it. Oh, look at that stack right there. Who needs a tractor? Oh, cousin. Yeah, couldn't have done a better, better job. Would you quit jumping like I'm going to hit you or something? All right. I'll go get a, go get a tractor. Somewhere back here, there should be a loader tractor. Uh, there it is. The 
the best make sure we got some got some chains in here yet well a chain what did oh well he's got chains we just need a tractor Got her. Earl, lift it up a little and see if I. Maybe. Our... Did that work? Oh, yeah, to, to, to tap it the rest of the way out. Oh, yeah. Uh. Well, if we had one more guy standing here, it'd be like the state highway. Three people watching one guy work. He's rooting around in there. Hey. There we go. You brought something with a handle. Now, yeah. that's... I saw that too, yeah. It got a little bonus. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah, I know. There. Well, I kept it from hitting something important. I don't think it's important, but. Yeah. Let her down and we'll see what happens. Uh oh. Why is it not? Is it because of the ramp? Why is it not going down? I can't hear what's going on. Yeah, see. It just ain't been moved since the last time. So it may have to put a little down pressure on put the ramp up. There we go. One one bandit worth of ballast. Let me let me let the loader all the way down. That's what let me get up there too. We'll get her. We'll, we'll bring the trailer into submission. How, how far off is it? 
down just a hair? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I know how we can do that. I'm not very smart. Loader. Yes. <laughs> it's down force. Down force loader. Yeah. Not thinking. I was having so much fun watching you jump up and down. It needs to go down just a shade more. Too not far enough in or too far in or like it's in the part way or something keeping you from oh. it? Yep. Huh. I didn't drill a hole straight or something. Probably not. Some of these trailers I don't know. fun yet? Not really. I can't find the hole. Looks like this. you got to turn it. It's got to be one certain way. It only goes in one way. It's okay. got to turn it 180 or something. Let me, let me look here. There you go. Well, that's as far as it'll go. Okay, so you've got the same trouble. I bet yours is the other way. Well, let me look it's before you. You need a light? Let's... Yep, that's what it is. Right about there, you ought to be able to get her. Even the blind squirrel will get yeah, lucky. Yeah, they over didn't. Uh, the worst it can do is come down and kill us all. But. Well. There I go. Well, do you want to ride it or do you want to just let it go and see what happens? You can always let it go and it... Well, if it hits... Yeah. So what are you wanting to do? Just push it off, you think? Okay. Uh huh. Oh, my. Even the camera's messing up. As soon as he said that, everything started falling apart now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, stand 
clear. See the danger in progress. It does but you get a slight. Well, it's going to go to the ground one way or the other, right? Yeah, but I'd rather it be rubber side down than not. Well, that's one. This is now we're going to have to pull this one, I guess. Huh? At least to the back. Does it... Uh, I don't know if it's on it. Well, I don't know if this... This one tire is only flat on the bottom. Isn't it? Are you steering, man? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too deep. You want crooked? Yeah. Okay. Watch out, man. Because I'm going to go over in the ground. Just to see. I'm going to ride it out. Oh! See that? Right into the combine. Oh, that worked pretty good. Woohoo! Right close to the torch, so you don't have to drag the torch. Uh, now we just got to go back and get a pickup. I guess I'll go get the 550. Well, we got to get the. Oh, well, the sheet. And, uh, no grill. And sheet stuff. metal. Yeah, camera even stayed working for that. Hopefully, it was all in the frame. Oh. You want to load up the other one first or not? Or what do you got to. Oh, yeah, good. Let me go get... I'll go get the 550. <laughs> All right, so the plan, if it was not made clear, we're going to take the 550 back into town and use it to load my pickup up. So that way maybe I can save one tow bill. I can pull it with a chain to where it's going to get the transmission next week. And there's a hydropower sitting in the bucket. So we should probably dump that off here somewhere. Since we didn't get that put away. Even those cows don't quite understand what's wrong with us, but hey. Interesting load coming. Now yeah, that's not necessarily ideal. Just a minute, I'll help you.
through here, you know. That'll work. Well, all we can do is destroy it. Which is the theme of today, I think. Well, does anybody want a Mountain Dew before we go? I'll go get one. What about you? I don't have anything in a bottle, but you got a bottle you want filled? Why you Uh oh. <laughs> oh. well, let me take this other gift too and put it away now as i said what else do you give a german uh, <laughs> okay open her up <laughs> a whole bunch of sausage <laughs> and more and more yes. straight from ohio huh oh you have to look down oh i gotta look down in there Man, you got all kinds of... Oh, ho, ho, ho. we got some... Uh, we're going to have to break into these probably pretty soon. <laughs> well, I'll well, go put this... Definitely the, fragile. Fragile. I will go put this away and see about getting you some cold drinks. All right. Fresh battery. Mountain Dew. I think we're ready for leg two of this adventure. The unplanned part where we have to haul a pickup back home because I pushed it one trip too many. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those days. One of those days. Uh -huh. Oh, that one went right to the ground. Better find the key. Now I put it in my pocket because it's the same thing like a while ago. I thought as soon as I don't, we will, uh, it won't be there. I thought of that too, but I don't know. It'd be easier to get the... this back in there without dying we'll be in good shape
good enough. <laughs> it's blended it. I'm I'm in shock right now. I mean, there wasn't no pulling or there wasn't any rooster sounds. No yeah, I mean, something. That means something bad is coming. That's usually what that means. Oh, uh, see, so you were using your brain there. I, that's a lot smarter than me. I, I held it up in the air like a dummy. You, you use gravity. Like to find it. Yeah. Actually, it'd be, it wouldn't be bad to work on on the trailer like this. I mean, it on a nice floor. There's a good breeze under here. Man, that is leaking. All the, I said that is leaking bad. And that's kind of ridiculous because all the brakes are 100% new. You can't get good. Back to that. The good news is, though, you don't need brakes if you can't go. So that also makes me. I wonder uh, what's supposed to go there. Is that a, that's anything? a uh, vent tube for, where it drains the diesel fuel that leaks off the valley pan, which it's doing right now. <laughs> exactly, it's rust proofing the whole thing. I just noticed something out there. See. There's my body mount that doesn't exist anymore, so we should probably address that at some point. I'd say we've dropped about two, two, two to three inches. Yeah, we did a, a body uh, drop. You're just That's yeah. It's found its happy place though. The door's still open. The kids these days they pay good money. I know, I know, and I did it for free with years of neglect. And <laughs> kind of like my body, you know. This specimen wasn't created overnight. It's done with nice. years of that song your body is a this does not film. happen ha yeah. ha does not happen overnight. It's over a long period of time. I think, I've been working at it. I think everything's leaking on this truck. I don't think there's anything that's not leaking now. Uh, Need more babe. I work on uh, Alright, we had the uh, Technical difficult. Oh, it's even in hours of despair. Yeah. As uh, the FFA creed says. Yeah. Well, we're we've pretty well passed despair a long while ago. Yeah. It's, it's a good it's a good thing we ate a we ate a good lunch because I think we pretty well burned all that off. Oh. That hook that oh, hit, hit you right now? That's good. I don't know where did you go, but is it this steak pocket or four? That one. Yeah. I know you got it. A temple to Buddha. Money's been treated as a <laughs> landfill. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to every so often to just load everything I got up on a trailer to see how bad it is because I'm noticing things <laughs> on everything that I, you don't notice when it's sitting on the ground and you're not looking at it. You just don't fall down enough. Yeah, I guess that's it. Man. Maybe that's axle seal oil in there, you know? That maybe isn't ground, brake you... cylinder, that might be the axle seal. Fold it down on the ground, and then when you look, you go, oh, look there. Yeah. Bunny. Yeah, look at there, what's it taste like? Your taste test. Does it smell like gear oil? Because it's got super duper expensive synthetic gear oil in the rear end, because I just changed all that too about a year ago. 
So. You know, I don't know how true it is, but I had an old mechanic tell me that you can change the filters, uh -huh. but don't never change the fluid. Just keep adding in, in the, to it. In an automatic transmission, that's true. And in the rear end. Well, really? Well, maybe that's. Maybe that's. Rentals, they've already got all that layer. Yeah. Used to it and happy hmm. You go put something new in it and it's not gonna go crazy. Part of it. Uh, believe me, if this That's transmission if it what well, you looked like you knew what you were doing and I you never ever bother That's neat though. I gotta figure out where'd you get this? I've got two or three of them. I've got, you can get them at truck stops or. That's a dandy it's little 40 thing. 40 or 50 bucks, but it's. Hey, you could even use that on a ratchet, I bet. Yeah. Use, I use that for all kinds of stuff. Put yeah. Rear tires on tractors. I can you stick that on the ground and walk it in. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to have to. So I got tired of those exhaust pipes. Yeah, exactly. That you bend and then you get mad and you beat the hood in well, and they're flat and, and it, it slips up. And yeah, that's um, this simple adventure turned into an all-day affair. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't have anywhere to be. Maybe you did, and I'm keeping you from it. If I was at home, I'd be changing more tires. Now, so this is easier. Yes. The last three days, that's all I've done is change, work on tires and rims. <laughs> and it really, really, really irritates me. All right, so we get, yeah, here we go. It can only get. <laughs> it uh, well, I got a lot of issues right now. Because when you come off the ramps, the tires were going like this. Well, and that's all new too. All new tie rods and everything. I found out when you put the new uh, ball joints in there. Uh huh. My '93, I had the. It was a diesel five-speed four-wheel drive, but it was. A, I put all brand new stuff in there. Spent like eighteen hundred bucks redoing the whole front end. Uh huh. Got home, never noticed it till I got home and looked, and the front tires are still like this. Huh. You got to take them back out and shim everything up to get it straight. And when I shimmed it up, I threw everything back apart, shimmed it up, and about I don't know, ten thousand miles later, they were starting to lean again. Jeez, I'm gonna go try to get these fender tanks and then. We'll... To lay down a while and process all of this <laughs> what has taken place this is supposed to be a simple <laughs> it's supposed to be a simple process i don't know i don't know how this happened but good grief Do it. Ah. Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> oh boy. Did I say that out loud? Well. Oh. Oh. Now you just gotta yeah. make the trek back, but we yeah, should uh, keep her up about 75 so the wind will keep me cooled off. The oh, I forgot about that. Instead of running. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, Sunday, 12 to 1. 12 to 1, huh? W-O-B-O, German. Oh, the view, yeah, okay. Sunday, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much. I'll see you again sometime. Yeah, I know. 
I couldn't even make the trip to town, so you got a lot of faith in me. <laughs> uh, once again, Craig and Bandit headed back home. We'll walk out here and look at what we acquired. Okay, well, I feel like I need to process what's taking place because today took such a strange turn. He called a couple days ago and said he was going to bring me two 1365s, which I had bought different times when he called, Craig that is, and at different auctions he was at. So that's what we did. And then he also brought this set of tires for my cousin's 8,900 white combines. So I don't know, we'll uh, get him over here. He wanted to meet Bandit, but he had to work so he couldn't come over. But let's uh, take a look at these treasures. If I remember correctly, this was the second tractor. This one was the first tractor. So let's, let's start with it. The first tractor, which you may or I don't know if the camera caught all that footage or not, but we just pushed them off the trailer and it rolled from where those tires are back here. This was the first one. Bandit sent me pictures of it when I was working on that other one. And he said, hey, you need parts? Here's this tractor. What happened to it was the same thing that had happened to mine. It has the block of death where it's, I don't know if it's locked up now. They had it running uh, at the, what was the Oliver dealer. See, it's got excellent oil in it. The story I got was it was owned by like an apple orchard. And anyway, had a problem. They got it running, found out it had the block of death. And so it sat there and they got a hold of the guy for me. And when he said what he wanted, I said, I'll take it because, hey, it's got the rims I need for the front. It's got excellent or more excellent, I should say, more better is the correct term in this case, spin out rims on it than what I had. One of my spin out rims is garbage. And I think it's actually the one on this side so I may, for now, I don't know. The, the tractors have different size tires though too. So I'll have to sort all that out. We'll probably be dismounting all the tires and swapping and doing whatever. But I got enough rims to fix up the original 1365 front rims and all that back spin out rim. So we can make something that we want. This tractor's got decent-ish tires. However, they are not mates. So we'll decide that as we get there. This was a pretty straight little tractor in the pictures that I saw of it. Uh, flying creatures? No. We've had trouble with that today, so I want to be sure. Uh, yeah, it was, it appeared to be in better cosmetic shape. I see just looking at it, the wiring harness has been deleted because it is not up here anymore. So I don't know if they did that at the dealer thing when they were messing with it or what, but basically this is gonna be a parts tractor. And you know, it's one of those deals where I wish I could have found this like a year ago because all that stuff I bought one piece at a time would have been right here. So this one, sadly enough, will probably end up being a parts tractor. And then, this one came later. He called me up one Saturday. He said, hey, I'm at an auction. Do you want another 1365? And I said, well, I suppose. Anyway, he said, you know, there's one in this auction. And I said, hey, if the price is cheap enough, I'll take it. So this one was even cheaper than the first one. And they couldn't get it started. It turned over, but did not start. Uh, again, it has better really better rims on it than what mine had. And it had had a loader on it. That rim is junk on the war. That's the worst one on the pair. So uh, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked with what I'm trying to talk about, but this tractor I believe will run. They talked to the dealer who had that one. And then when they talked to that dealer, he said, Hey, I think that tractor has been overhauled and it should be fine. So 
I have high hopes that maybe this one will be a runner. Maybe I can uh, tinker with it and get it running and make one more out of two. And then we have that heritage tractor that if it turns out to be garbage, maybe we have a motor that runs for it. I hate to kill one that's a good runner, but we'll just have to see what comes to be. But the thing that really super duper sold me on this was, look at these. I searched high and low for these grill inserts. And I got two grills now that have them. So one of these is gonna go straight on the 1355 because that's the style it's supposed to have. And then the other one, the top insert is coming out and it's going on the 1365 that I already have and use. So hopefully, like I said, that one is gonna be the parts tractor to fix this one and the other two that I already have. And then we should be in good shape because the sheet metal is actually better on that one than it is on this one. However, that one does not have the, this piece is missing, which is fine because, you know, serial number belongs to this tractor. So that doesn't really matter. The parts tractor is gone. Uh, what else do I want to say? Oh, this one came with another super duper nice thing. Original Fiat keys, which I looked for forever and could not find them for my other one. So I'm going to use one of these and that and then have one for one of these, you know. So it, it this was a good deal. Uh, like I said, I, I feel like I probably owe Craig a lot more because he wouldn't take much for all the stuff he did hauling it for me and whatever. And uh, then helping me get my pickup home from town because I, I met met them in town and we ate lunch and then at the intersection coming home my pickup just nothing no gears nothing, and then you know when we went back to get it somehow magically it would drive itself on the trailer but that's probably all it's got, and I had already called the guy my transmission's under warranty because I had it put in two years ago, and it has a three year warranty so. I got to take it over there and they're going to swap out and put a new one in. So hopefully that will all work out. But it's just funny that, I mean, it seemed to be working decent ish, but I, you know, whatever, at least there's a warranty because it was expensive what I'm saying, but I'm happy because now we got more stuff to play with. And like I said, we got I, the front rims were the thing that was really bothering me <laughs> on this other one I got. It just looks goofy with those car rims on it down. So I think I'm actually going to take this rim and that rim and clean them up and paint them, put them on there because that is a worse tire. And then we'll take, uh, you know, that rim or whatever and put it on there. I don't know. It just needs tires is what I'm saying. The parts tractor here has lived a good life but I'm afraid it's days are done. It does have the original style alternator, which is good because my other one is messing up, I think. So I'm gonna swap out and see if it makes my light go out on the dash. And if it does, then we know that that is, uh, you know, my alternator is the problem. But anyway, well, I'm gonna see what I can piece together out of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe there's something that was entertaining on it, but. As always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. That doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me out. Leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you don't want to see. You know, tell Bandit that you don't believe anything he said. That's fine. We do that in person. So, anyway, the camera keeps shutting off because it's hot, so I guess it's time to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.